so normally we normally we start with the correlation matrix so this is the normally the sim, the symbol for the correlation correlation matrix is sigma and there are nice properties for the correlation matrix it's square of course because of the correlation between the variables themselves so in this question we have nine variables so the correlation matrix should be nine by nine matrix each item like the i j item in this matrix points toward the correlation between variable i and variable j and the other nice property of the correlation matrix is it is a symmetric matrix or a triangular matrix as we can see from this figure i hope you can see the figure here so you can see it's kind of a triangular matrix because this part of the triangle is exactly the same of the other part of the other um, triangle there so um these nice properties will lead to nice um, mathematical derivation in terms of what we know as the Egan vectors. So, the Egan vector of a matrix is the vector that when you multiply it by the matrix, say it's x, you get what do you get? You get the exact vector multiplied by some scalar. Let's call it lambda. So sigma times x is lambda times x. So you see, the whole sigma thing is gone on the right side of the equation. And this vector is nothing but the principal component that we're looking for. And as you, you know from your linear, algebra class is that we have num the, the we have um the same number of eigen vectors as the uh, line uh, the columns or the rows of the correlation matrix so if we uh, say this is the ith eigen vector is the multiplication of the ith scalar times the i's eigenvector itself and we know i here is between 1 up to 9 in this situation so this is the mechanics or the mechanism by which we derive the principal component analysis i hope this is clear thank you